Hello everyone and welcome back to Court Farms. Now last time we were of course doing our potatoes and we did the irrigating. That is all finished now. So I've actually got rid of the irrigator because I don't think we'll need it again on this map. We might do. If we do we'll just rent it. I probably should have rented it in the first place. But I've actually got rid of it. So we've got a bit more money back which is nice to see. And uh, also today we have got the haulage company in because they're going to go and sell our wheat for us. So they should start loading that very soon. There we go, so it is filling up. It's even coming out the bottom. But uh, yeah, it's filling up. And that is, I think, more than the capacity of the trailer we've got in storage. So it's not even all of it. This will fill it. And the price is okay. It's not great, but we kind of do need the money. So there we go, it is full. 47,000 litres. We have 92,000 in total. So we've got actually quite a lot. Now today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the Kronenbig M again. Now I know a lot of you don't like it when I overuse machinery, but we probably won't be using the big M again for a long time. And the reason why we really need it today is because we only have that really small pot in Jamoa, uh, the rear one. We don't even have a front one. And uh, yeah, it's a really big field, the one I found. We actually own Field 25. I didn't even know we owned it, but we do. So that is huge, that field. It really needs to be done. I would like to do hay bales, so I think we'll go and we'll mow it all, and then probably tomorrow we'll we'll turn it all over, and then possibly next week we'll get it all rowed up and bales. We should get tons of bales out of it. But that is it from our haulage company. That is the grain sold. We now have seventy-two thousand six hundred and forty-nine pounds, which is actually quite good, considering we still have a lot more in storage. So. Yes, we need to now go and rent the Crone Big M. Looking forward to this. So here it is. Now, it cost us about £20,000. So it set us back quite a bit. But because the field is so large and we have this for 24 hours, we will easily make a massive profit out of all of this. Now, we do need hay bales because we need to do total mix ration on this map as well. We've done it on Sandy Bay now, but we do need to do it on here. And we also need silage bales, so I think if we do the field half and half, we will be able to get a fairly decent amount of money and produce out of this field. So what that means is we can actually get half of it baled today, the other half will have to leave. Uh, but that is all good because it means that while we're waiting for the other half to dry, we can actually start to move the bales. So there's plenty to do. This is the field very very big massive open space um, and this is really is the only machine for the job because it would take hours so we'll get this to the field we'll have to make sure we're on the right setting now the first setting will be where it rows up into one swath that is for our silage bales the other setting is where it spreads it all out and that is for our hay bales So that should be okay just there. I think first of all we will do the silage bales just so we can get it out of the way and I don't have to worry about it anymore. And really the only other tractor we've got which would be powerful enough to run the baler is our Case Puma 160. At this point I have to say that we're going to have to use the Coon baler because we can't really afford to go and buy the other Crone baler. It's a shame but it's not the end of the world. We also, it also does mean we're going to have to do some wrapping as well. It's not all in one. So yeah, it's going to be quite interesting. Looking forward to this. I think all of our machines are back in their sheds from last week. Had a bit of a tidy up. So yeah, we've got plenty to do. Alright, let's get this all set up. The baler, we can probably just set up now and get it going. Very simple. And now the big M. Just reduce the volume because it's very loud. Oh, plant growth fast. We don't want that. Let's unfold it. And we'll make a good start. We're going to get this field entirely done today. But look how far it is. Look how. I think. Is it like a castle over there? Like the ruin? It goes as far as that. It's pretty much on the horizon. That is how big this field is. It's impressive. But 
but that's the right setting. So now I just need total concentration so I don't take out that fence. But it should make plenty of bales. It's just going to take a while to wrap them all. But it has been quite a long time since I did some manual wrapping. Well, not really manual, but you know, not automatic wrapping on the same baler. And it should be able to keep up okay, because it doesn't have to keep slowing down. With the other bay that has to slow down when it comes to wrapping. I probably should have reset the bale counter actually. Unless it's done that on its own. Yeah, it's okay. It's done three. Wow, I can't actually see the other side of the field. I can just about see a fence, I think, but that is it. On the minimap, it doesn't even look that big. There's many fields which are bigger than this one. It's incredible. I would not want to be using anything smaller than this. Okay, I've cut down here. This is pretty much split in half, I think, maybe a little bit more. That side is going to be for hay. This side is for silage bales. There's a lot of money in silage bales, so this should be the cure of our money problems, as it usually is. It usually is. Uh, if you are ever in need of serious money on Farming Simulator, just do some silage. And it is about time we had some more money, because I think a lot of you are probably getting bored of the two or three tractors we have. I want to get some bigger ones as well. And this is the side of the map which I don't usually see, so it's nice to be over here. This is our second time round. There's a Quite, quite a big spacing between the bales, I suppose. Not the best amount of uh, crop out of this field, but it's not bad. There's going to be so many bales by the end of this anyway, it doesn't really matter. I don't, I don't think you can fertilise the grass in the FS, though. Unless you actually plant a field of grass. Uh, maybe wrong, but I'm pretty sure you can't. Yeah, the bale is still over there, catching up slowly. Uh, one thing I was meaning to look at, which we'll probably look at in a minute while we're waiting for the baler to catch up, is our fattening chickens. I think they are probably fairly close to being sold. It's been quite a long time since we did anything with them. We probably should check up on them. So I did just have a quick look at our fattening installation page and I forgot that we had to kind of restart because we changed the version of the map. And uh, unfortunately, despite us having 60 chickens, nothing's happening because it actually wiped all of the silage and stuff we gave them. So it's back to square one, I'm afraid. So we're going to have to probably have an episode dedicated to getting them back up and running. Because I really would like to do the fattening chickens. How many bells it's done now? I would probably guess at around 30 to 40. Might be surprised. One thing's for sure, we have got a big job on our hands when it comes to doing the bale wrapping. It's going to take a while. I think the most I've ever done with that bale wrapper is probably 40 or 50 bales, so if it's any more than that, it's going to take a while. But yeah, it's still be interesting. 
I'm really tempted just to swap machines just to see how many bells it's actually done. Right, it's on 30, so a bit less than I thought. It doesn't seem to be producing too many bells, but it's still pretty good. Well, we're making good progress. I'm really pleased that we're using this machine, though. The bell always misses a little bit each time it drops on. It must go forwards a tiny amount before it shuts it or something. It's not too much of a problem, it's just it makes it a bit more messy, doesn't it? And also when it's going around the bends as well. I've been trying not to turn too tight, but when it turns it can sometimes miss a bit. But things are going okay, not too bad. One really good thing about this map is there's not too many hills, so most of the bells stay in place. Uh, which is not always a good thing, but I think in this case it is, because otherwise, as this is such a big field, all of these bales would have all rolled to one side, which would be a real mess. So I think when you've got a grass field this size, you really do want it to be fairly flat. There are a few inclines, but nothing really too serious. But yeah, we're almost done. Almost done here anyway. Then we'll be able to stop the baler and then we'll just finish off over there and we'll just cut that on the other setting where it spreads it out and that'll be for our hay bales. I do keep stopping every now and then just to let the baler catch up otherwise it will stop. I think this is our final bit, providing this is wide enough. It's going to be very close. This could be annoying. Mm, yeah, it's not going to fit. Not far off, though. And our final bit, quickly before the baler comes up here. There we go. All done. So now I think we should probably get an aerial view of this. That's what we've done. And if you're wondering, there are 61 bales there. So not fantastic, but 61 bales to wrap is quite a lot. So I think that is okay for me. And this side we're going to do in a minute. This will be our hay. We don't need much hay because what we're not going to use will sell. And it's not really worth much. And really we don't need much. So I think we've done the right thing by having most of it as silage and then just a bit of it as hay. So let's go and cut this then. So now it should just drop it all as it goes. I don't usually do it on this setting actually. This might even be the first time which I've done this. I usually just put it in one massive row. So this is different. So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to just come in here probably tomorrow with the Swath Turner, which we're going to have to purchase, which we do have enough money for. So that's good to see. And um, We'll just turn it all over, the sun can dry the other side, and then next week we'll row it up and we'll bale it all in one go. We'll use the follow me mod again, so we have the baler behind the, the rake, it's the best way of doing it. 
then I think just bullet bills trailer the Marshall trailer to pick them all up should go well and then once that is all done we'll be able to really concentrate on the animals because then we can actually give them the proper feed which they need at the moment all we've got is I think one or maybe two silage bales and some grain which is for the chickens so not really too much we probably shouldn't even have the animals we do have at the moment because we don't have the right feed for them but we're working towards it they'll have it soon they've not been here before working right next to the riverbank the river isn't very full it's still nice to have a river And here is another entrance or exit to the field. So it looks like we've got two entrances. It's a very nice lush looking colour. The stuff that we're cutting now. It does look healthy. I don't think the hay bales are worth much at all. We only need them for ourselves. If we're going to sell them, we would probably have to be fairly desperate for money or have loads of them. So many that we'd never need. I think we'll probably keep most of the hay bales, maybe get rid of a few. And then, yeah, the silage bales, most of them will go. But we'll keep a good enough supply for us, because I don't want to have to keep doing this. We've been doing a lot of mowing recently. I think we should probably move on to other things so if we can get what we need for a long period of time that'd be great so we're getting closer to the end this is a seriously big job this was a big field to choose but it's all good because it means we're going to get lots of profits out of it. Um, yeah, but when we're done, what we're going to have to do is take the baler back before we use Follow Me again. And I'm not really sure where to keep this because we don't own it. We might be using it again. We've got 23 hours and 10 minutes left, so we're taking 50 minutes so far, real time, uh, to do this. I think we'll probably leave it in the yard near to the field where, where you uh, reset the vehicles to that is probably the best place because then it's out of the way because it's not exactly small but we might even use it again yet because we've still got other grass fields in fact we've got a grass field near the potato field the other side which we own we might do that another day but we'll just have to see the final triangle we tend to get left with one of these. Tiny bit left. And this field is finished. Oh no, we missed a bit after all that. There we go, now we're done. So yeah, let's fold this up. I think that is a job well done. Despite the work of missing lots of bits of grass, but it should be okay. It just doesn't look very good. But we'll tether that, we'll that tomorrow, we'll tether the, uh, the grass on the left, and this here will start to wrap. I don't know if I'll be able to wrap all 61 bales in one episode. I don't want to bore everyone, so we might do half, and then we'll ted that. Uh, we'll just have to see. Could do half and half, or even half off screen, that might work. But we're going to have no shortage of silage bells and for that matter no shortage of money because yeah they're, they're about six well these will be uh, the bigger bales because we didn't have a setting for it but six thousand pounds per bale he times that by 61 my maths isn't that good but I think it'd be quite good I think that would be quite a good figure go on then someone please do um, I don't know what it is I think it's about 6,300 times 61 I could do that in a minute, actually.
Okay, so I just got my old calculator out, and 6,300 times 61 is very roughly, approximately I'd say actually, is uh, 364,000. Give or take, because I don't know the exact amount that each bale is worth. I know it's not an exact figure, so hard to say, but about 385,000 I'd say then, just to play it safe. And I would say that is definitely a good week's work if you can get that in a week. That is quite an impressive turnover. Right, that is the Follow Me cancelled, finally. We'll park that just there. We'll turn it off. And the tractor just needs to go back in the shed here, really. There you are, look, 61 bales. With 56% left in it. So hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. We've been doing the same thing all episode, unfortunately, but it's just one of those things. Couldn't really do anything about it. Uh, so hopefully next time, it's just dropped to the floor, we'll be able to do something a bit more exciting. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy the episode. And please do join me again soon. Bye for now.